Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, let's talk about those dirty ass tanks. All right, fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. This is my basement fish room. And uh, before we get started, just like to remind everyone about my good friend Keith from kjeaquatics.com. Keith's got cancer and uh, he starts his chemo treatment very soon. I did start a GoFundMe for him. There will be a link <clears throat> down below. Click that link and donate if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video or this video where I talk about Keith and cancer and how it sucks. And uh, I would really appreciate it. All right, let's talk about those dirty ass tanks. Now here's the thing, folks. A dirty tank to you is probably different than a dirty tank to me. I've already done a video about Mom many, 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 many years ago. And I'll link that one here as well. But I just want to talk about Mom. And, and this came up because uh, on Saturday I drove about six hours north to pick up fish from a um, subscriber and fan who actually I didn't even know was a subscriber or fan. He put a post on Facebook in one of the groups about having to get rid of some fish. And they were fish that I can sell, plecos and guppies and mutts. And uh, it was a really good deal for me, even including driving there and spending time and driving home with gas and tolls and all. It still was a good deal. Plus, I got to meet a fan and a uh, really nice guy. Anyway, Evan, thank you so much. The fish are doing great. So uh, while we were there talking about uh, plecos, he was pulling plecos out of a, a, a big tank. And, and basically, we said that mom is the key to life. It's true. You know what? Let me just show you. Refill your snack and beverage if you have to. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. This is one of the first tanks I set up in the, the new fish room. This is These are long fin albino plecos that are breeding like crazy. You can see all the dirt and debris on the bottom. That's just mom. It's just poop and food and biomatter, you know, plants and stuff that are breaking down. And the baby fish, whether they're plecos or guppies, will go in there and eat the little microorganisms and get nourishment and delicious smorgasbord-like yumminess by eating it. Now, if you have a show tank, you might not like this, how this looks, and that's fine. But if you're breeding or breeding for profit or looking for bat points from your local fish club, this is the way to go in most cases. Now, I don't breed discus, and I believe discus tanks have to be pristine with the right, uh, you know, hardness and, and all that other stuff, really for the discus to breed and then for the eggs to, to hatch and be viable. But for plecos, I can tell you the dirtier, the better. Now, if I were to check the water in this tank, I guarantee you zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and probably low nitrates. And that's because I do, you know, water changes daily through my auto water change system. If you're gonna be breeding for profit and you have a tank with lots of mom, you're gonna have to be careful for nitrates. I would recommend adding plants. I don't have many plants in this tank, as you can see, because I don't need them. I'm not breeding guppies, uh, so they don't need a place to hide in this tank yet. I probably will eventually. And then I will add more floating plants. Let's take a look at a guppy tank. Let's look down here. Here. I can't really find a dirty, dirty guppy tank. I mean, this tank has um, purple blue mosaics and panda quarries. Actually, I'm pretty sure I sold out of the panda quarries. Uh, but you can see there's a bunch of mom in the back. There's, you know, fro floating guppy grass there, and everybody's doing great. Uh, let me just show you another pleco tank. These are new plecos that I just picked up from. Evan up in Massachusetts. These are uh, lemon blue eyes. They are for sale on the website, michaelsfishing.com. And this tank looked like this on Saturday. And then Sunday, it looked like this because it. I just set these tanks up uh, basically because I needed the space for the plecos. I like, I like breeding plecos in 20 longs. There's more of a footprint for them to swim. And because they don't swim, you know, anywhere other than the bottom of the tank pretty much, this is the greatest footprint for me. What works for you is different. Now this tank just has a bunch of aquarium co-op sponge filters, a bunch of um, 
driftwood, there's a piece there. I think, oh, there's a piece there. And of course, lots of caves for the plecos to hide in. You can see they're chilling in different caves. I like these plant watering spikes because they're cheap AF. Um, and you get quite a bit. I'll, I'll link those down below. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. Click that link, buy anything, and I get some shekels. If you buy this, I get shekels. But if you click that link and then do your Amazon shopping, I get even more shekels. So keep doing that. Here are some standard browns and longfin browns. Um, there are some black ones in here too as well. I love these with the, the little pattern and the tail, the little line on the tail. Those are pretty sexy too. Uh, but also this tank was pristine when I, cause it was brand new. Uh, when I put the fish in, you can see I do have a couple of guppies that, that made it in here. I'm gonna leave them in here and see what happens. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, mom, mom is the key to life when it comes to breeding if you ask me. Um, let's take a look at the mutt guppy tag. Mutt guppies are on sale on the website. Buy five, get one free. And uh, just a poop ton of mom, mom with mutts. Look at that one. That one's pretty nice. Anyway, I love the mutts. Let's get back to talking about plecos and breeding and mom. This tank has a uh, filter that I put on a couple days ago, so it's cleaning quite well over here, but you can see there is some mom over here. I'm actually gonna stop that filter today uh, and let the mom build up again. Typically what I do in the fish room is when the mom gets too much, I add a filter and let the filter do its thing. But you can see there's probably four or five generations of uh, Pleco babies in here, and they're just little dollar signs, cha-ching, 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 for me at least. Check out michaelsfishroom.com to buy some of my homebred plecos and guppies. Also, of course, we have the imports, but there's some homebred too. Folks, let me know down in the comments below what you think about mom. And um, if you have any comments or questions, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day.